Hi everyone. So today's lecture will be about voltage sources, independent voltage sources and independent current sources. In electric circuits and electric circuits, most of the circuit elements can be modeled as two terminal devices as shown here. And generally amplifiers and other power elements can be modeled as three terminal or even four terminal devices. Okay. So here we are particularly interested in devices which would have two, two terminals and in electrics, in electronics and electrical circuits, we are more interested in what we call as the IV characteristics of the two terminal devices. So, we would see how does the element behave as I vary the voltage and measure the current across it or I can do vice versa, I can vary the current and measure the voltage across it. Okay? And we would understand, understanding the behavior of a device on an IV graph gives you a lot of information about the, the behavior of the device under when it is actually applied in a, in a, in a circuit. Okay? So, one of the simplest circuit elements is a resistor. Now, we know a resistor follows the Ohm's law wherein the voltage and current are related by a linear equation given by V equals IR. Now, on this graph, if I plot V and I, the graph would be the graph would be when I is 0, V is also 0 and uh, your, your, uh, if, if for example, if I vary my voltage, then the current would be given by V upon R. The slope of this line would be 1 by R because you know i is your y axis here and v is your x axis the slope would be 1 by r. Now resistors are most commonly used elements in circuits and they are used for dividing voltages, uh, they are used in circuits to realize gains in, in a combination with a combination of active circuit elements. Okay? So here for example, when I connect a voltage source to a resistor. Okay? The voltage source, assume the value of the voltage source is Vx, it supplies a current I. Now, I would be given by Vx by R. Now, here I will define a very important term called power, okay, which is the product of voltage into current. So, for any two terminal device, okay, it can be a voltage source, a current source, a resistor, capacitor or inductor. Current, the power is defined as the product of voltage into current. See here, here the current is supposed to enter the positive terminal and come out of the negative terminal. Then the product of V into I is defined as power. Now, if the product V into I is positive or greater than 0, we say that the element, the element absorbs power. Now, if the product V into I is less than 0, then we say it delivers power. So, here I will take this simple example of a voltage source and a resistor. We know when I apply a voltage Vx across the resistor, a current would flow through the resistor of value given by Vx by R. Now, this voltage is in this direction, you have a voltage Vx across it. Now, if you see this diagram, the resistor draws a current. So, if I, if I ask you to find the power in the resistor, it is given by Vx into Vx by R this is V x square by R. Now, this is greater than 0. So, I will say resistor absorbs power of value V x square by R and the voltage source, okay, the power across the voltage source or absorbed or delivered is given by the current is going out of the positive terminal. So, I will call the voltage as positive, but the current in this case is negative. So, you would have minus V x square by R. So, the voltage source here is delivering power. If you have an element that is consuming power or absorbing power, then you need to have an element to deliver power to it, okay? Because energy is conserved, it comes from that. Now, if I take the IV characteristics of a two terminal element, I can say that in the first in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant, your power is greater than zero. So, if an element absorbs power, the IV characteristics, the curve for current and voltage should, should either be in this region or it should be in this region. Okay? And if you consider the second and the fourth quadrants, 
the product of the current and voltage current and voltage is is negative so your power dissipated or absorbed is negative so you can say that your deliver power if your iv characteristics of a device is in this region or in this region you would be delivering power okay so if i take a resistor we know the v equals ir or i equals v by r the characteristics of a resistor can be drawn this way sorry here it's entering touching the origin now therefore if you see the resistor characteristics lies either in the first quadrant or in the third quadrant so therefore resistor can only absorb power resistor by itself cannot deliver power it also it's also called a passive device for that reason okay now for we will try to draw the iv characteristics for a voltage source now we know a voltage source an independent voltage source of value vx is going to give you a constant current is going to give you a constant voltage sorry no matter what the current is so if i draw the characteristic it's going to look something like so this is voltage this is current so it's going to look like this okay so no matter what the current is it's always going to deliver power i mean it, it's always going to keep a constant voltage of vx across it now see in this quadrant in this quadrant the power is greater than 0 in this quadrant if i multiply the current and the voltage the power is less than 0 so i'll rephrase the definition of uh, a voltage source so here we can look at the graph and say somewhat this way that a voltage source can here actually the current is being given out here in, in this point your current is being I'll, I'll assume the voltage source of value vx okay so if your current in this time here it is negative so meaning the current is being given out by the voltage source so here it is delivering current or i'll say sourcing current okay you're sourcing current to a different element so it, it can be some circuit element here it can be a circuit here some circuit composed of resistors or you know capacitors your voltage source is able to supply current to this circuit in this region your voltage source is actually in the first quadrant the voltage source is actually absorbing current okay so i can reframe the definition of a voltage source a voltage source is a two terminal element which can either deliver any amount of power you ask for or it can absorb any amount of power that the circuit demands it to absorb and still maintain its voltage as a constant between the two terminals that's the definition of an ideal voltage source it can even deliver infinite power it can even absorb infinite power that's the definition of an ideal voltage source so when when i when this value becomes very large it can deliver infinite power okay so the definition of a voltage source here it can see you can be reframed in, in terms of power or in terms of current it you can say that a voltage source can sink infinite current or can source infinite current and still maintain the voltage across the two terminals as a constant okay otherwise you can also say it can deliver infinite power or it can absorb infinite power and still maintain its voltage constant across the two terminals okay so that's the definition of an ideal voltage source so similarly i can define an ideal current source i it's again a two terminal element it will deliver a constant current no matter what the voltage across it is you can connect this current source to any circuit it will deliver and you should also have a return current back okay see so when how does why should we have a return current back again that is just to uh, satisfy kcl at every node you should you, are, you should you should actually satisfy kcl uh, which is true for static circuits electrostatic circuits and it comes from that definition so it should be able to deliver a current i no matter what the voltage across the volt uh, 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 across the current sources so here i would draw the characteristic would look something like this the value of the current source is ix so in this graph you can see and in this quadrant the power i mean the product of current into voltage is always greater than zero so here in this region the current source is absorbing power and in this region the current source is delivering power okay power is less than zero power is greater than zero here so it's delivering power okay so no matter what the voltage across it a current source can always will always deliver a constant current so here again we can rephrase the definition a current source ideal current source can 
deliver infinite power or absorb infinite power okay and it can still give out a constant current of value i x of the current source. So, it can both deliver and absorb power. So, when can a voltage source absorb power? So, for example, I will take a condition or both the voltage source and the current source. So, assume we have a voltage source V x, I have connected a resistor R x and I have connected another voltage source here of value 0 volts first. Okay. So, in this case, the current is going to flow into this uh, into the resistor in this direction as pointed out as, as shown in this figure there the current is given by V x upon R V x minus 0 here is 0 volts upon R. So, here consider another example. Now, instead of a 0 volt I have connected a 2 voltage source of value 2 V x. Now, you will have a current V V x by R flowing in the opposite direction. Okay. Now, in this case if you see the product of current into voltage is negative because current is going out of the positive terminal here in this case the power is greater than 0 power absorbed by the voltage source if you see if I ask you what is the power across power absorbed or delivered by the, delivered by the voltage source it will be V x square by R in this case it will be minus V x square by R. So, here it is less than 0 here it is greater than 0. So, here if you see the voltage source is delivering power here and here it is absorbing the power. Okay. So, this can be very simply written if I put a voltage source and a current source in parallel okay. assume this is a voltage source V x I have a current source I I keep varying my current from minus infinity to plus infinity okay. the voltage will always remain constant. So, which we have already shown this this is your I V characteristics of a constant voltage source. So, we have seen a constant voltage source, a constant current source and a resistor their I V characteristics and I have told that a resistor only absorbs power a positive resistor only absorbs power a voltage source and current source of value V x and I x these are independent sources. they can both absorb and deliver power ok and they can both absorb and deliver infinite amounts of power ok. So, that is the big that is the whole uh, definitions of voltage source and current source in the next lecture I will discuss a little bit more about uh, converting voltage sources to current sources something called source transformation theorem and uh, also some practical applications of batteries and how do we actually interpret what we have discussed right now. Uh, in in a practical in a, in a practical applications like a batteries and other uh, sources okay thank you